Uh, in the near future, uh, we, we expect that uh, universal vaccination against HPV will be introduced in more and more uh, European countries. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, today we know that uh, uh, diseases connected with HPV, chronic infections, are not only affecting women but also men. Uh, in particular, we know that uh, in Europe uh, we have uh, around 6,000 uh, anal cancers every year and we also have uh, more than 11,000 oropharyngeal cancers every year. And uh, uh, many of these cases are affecting men. Uh, if, uh, regarding uh, anal cancer, we know that uh, uh, about 40% uh, of the, those cases are affecting men and uh, uh, in oropharyngeal cancers, uh, uh, more than two-thirds of the cancers are affecting men. As a consequence, we advise that uh, uh, vaccination is extended uh, to uh, all 12-year-old uh, uh, populations, so both males and females. Uh, and uh, uh, there are al already some experiences ab about this uh, in, in Europe. Uh, in Austria, they are recommending universal vaccination of uh, pre-adolescents uh, uh, for, for everybody. And uh, uh, in, in Italy, we have uh, nine regions out of the, of the 21 regions that uh, are present in Italy who are uh, now implementing a universal uh, program of vaccination against HPV. Uh, we have some uh, preliminary experiences uh, regarding the coverage uh, with uh, this vaccine in males uh, in the Puglia region, so in southeastern Italy. And in that region, they used uh, two different approaches to uh, the offer of vaccination to males. In, in some uh, uh, local uh, health units, uh, they used uh, a traditional approach, so it means that they call uh, um, the, the, the boys to the vaccination services, so they are given a, an appointment and they go there. In some other local uh, health units, they uh, go to the schools, they uh, offer some uh, informative uh, uh, meetings with the parents, and then uh, they vaccinate uh, the boys in school. And uh, the difference was that uh, in the traditional uh, local health units where they used the traditional approach of inviting people to the vaccination services, they got 37% uh, coverage, while in the places where they used the, the uh, new approach of going to the schools and giving information to the parents and uh, uh, performing vaccination in schools, they got 53% coverage, uh, which is a, a very good uh, result uh, uh, being uh, the start of a new uh, approach of vaccination program in adolescents. So we hope that this approach can be extended to all countries, also because uh, <coughs> we have performed a literature review regarding the pharmacoeconomic evaluations of uh, uh, universal vaccination. And we have found that uh, while in the past years, uh, the uh, uh, convenience, the economic convenience of uh, having a, a universal vaccination was not sure, since uh, in the last times we have had a dramatic decrease of the, of the cost of the, of the vaccine, and also the fact that we are uh, now vaccinating with two doses instead of three doses, uh, all the new uh, vaccination uh, uh, models uh, you, for universal vaccination show that uh, universal vaccination is a uh, uh, good value for money and uh, uh, the economic uh, uh, re return for this vaccination is very good.